You think because you're so sweet and innocent, you get special treatment? Well, not with me. Oh, honey, take the shots. I don't get any special treatment, Poppy. I just don't want to. What are you afraid of? Becoming your parents? Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are back with the next part of Crossing the Line on the episode app. If you haven't seen the last ones, if you're new here, go check them out. It's It's been a journey so far. So we ran away from home. We're now staying with this nice, I'm not sure if nice is the word, this girl named Poppy, she's very rich. Anyway, she has her stepbrother. We're kind of having a thing with him. The flirting is real, the crushes are real. So we're seeing what happens and we're at this girl's birthday party in Vegas. And we go for the little party, you know, no boys allowed at this one, but I think it gets crashed. It gets crashed. So we're going to see, was it our boys? Was it random boys? I don't know. It says this is about to be truth or dare, which you know it's going to be lit. But I hope you guys enjoy. Hit that like button if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go follow the amazing author Bree. Their Instagram is linked in my description box down below. And without further ado, let's start the drama. What the hell was that? Did the power just go out? Dun, dun, dun. Are you kidding me? A five-star hotel and this is what we have to deal with. Tell them, girl. Oh, and it's flickering. It's going on. It's Oh, it was crashed. Oh my goodness. We have... <laughs> Please take anything you want. Just not my new shoes. Take Victoria. You can hold it for ransom. Yes, yes, take Victoria. Yes, girly, you're the sacrifice. What the hell, Marissa? Girl, no one likes you, Victoria. You're so messy and you're rude and you're mean. Okay, so this is probably going to be our boys. It's them, which I'm a bit shook that our one dude is up there in this situation. Like, who coerced him into doing this? Whose skill check was high enough that he agreed to do this? It's just us, you airheads. Preston, honey, that's not the word I would be using to call anybody but yourself. What the hell? I said no boys allowed. Yeah, we're having a blast without you guys. You really thought we were going to miss this? Come on, babe. Let's just enjoy the rest of the night together. They really just could not be left out. The girls could not have their own little night, could they, before the boys crashed? I mean, I'm sure internally they're not complaining. But, you know, yeah, we're not underwear too, so everyone will feel comfortable. Um, are we sure because our girlies are fine. They might get a little bit too excited. It's gonna be awkward. Let them stay, please. Of course, you would want the Victoria. No one likes you. Fine. But if any of you cause any problems, you will be finding your own way home tomorrow. Yeah, let's party. Okay, so now the boys have joined. So we're gonna see what drama unfolds. Everyone's talking to everyone. Everyone, oh, except Victoria's by herself. Okay, but so are we in with this. Come here. As you know, you shouldn't be talking to Margot. As you can tell, she's not in our class. As Poppy rambled on, I suddenly feel a hand on my lower back. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. You do not touch me with our, with our girl without permission. Mm -mm -mm. What a dirtbag. He's doing this right in front of Poppy. Poppy girl, say something. His palm is harsh and cold, just like him. I hate it. I don't know if I should run away or scream. Poppy can't see. Even though I'm not doing anything wrong, she'll blame me. Aren't you a lit sex little kitten? Ew. What did you just say? He finally removes his hand. I'm free. Uh, you look like one, babe. Someone help us. Hey, party crasher. Every, oh my gosh, every dip, every curve, every inch of her body was sculpted by an angel. Agra is flawless. She is flawless. She is breathtaking. A goddess. He is standing in the goddess's presence. Wow, you look great. An unexpected feeling of relief came over my body. For some reason, his approval meant everything to me. So were you surprised? I was more scared than anything. The masks were a nice touch. That was all Preston's idea. Okay. Our last fate and we both look each other directly in the eyes. His smile goes away as he licks his lip. Oh, my heart beat picks up speed and I start to feel faint. She's going to have a little faint moment and fall right into his arms or his lap, whichever. I never have wanted someone so bad in my life. I can no longer deny the truth. I can no longer deny that I am falling head over heels for this man. We could have told you that chapter one. Well, I guess not chapter one, but chapter two. Hey, everyone, come over here. Let's play a game. Okay, so they're gonna 
play Truth or Dare, I'm assuming. A classic. I thought it'd be fun to play Truth or Dare. Truth or Dare. Yeah, what are we in the seventh grade? Let's play something else. <laughs> We're already not aware of we st- No. Ex- no. 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 Let's play Truth or Dare. It'll be fun. It, fine, and I'll find a way to make it interesting. This is really not my thing. I'm way too old for this. Once again, who coerced him into coming to this party? Like, b- this would not be Bentley's normal doing. Like, we know Bentley. Bentley's not like this. So why he chose to crash the party with the boys, I don't know. I guess it's just his little romance. I'm just gonna head to bed. No, Bentley, stay, please. Girl, the desperation. Don't be a party pooper, Benny. Let loose, Bentley. Have some fun for once. Don't go, bro. Won't be that bad. Yeah, dude, let loose. Bentley glances over me. I can see in his eyes that he's looking for reassurance. <laughs> no, go home. <laughs> yeah, Benny, let loose. He tilts his head back and slowly rolls his eyes as a small smirk forms on his lips. Can those two get a room? They need their own room. Fine, let's get this over with. Yay. The rules are simple. You just have to tell the truth or do the dare. No backing out. So who wants to go first? Hello, birthday girl should go first. I do kind of feel a little bad because Marissa is, well, unless we've seen anything different, she seems to be a sweet girl, surprisingly. And like, no one is just like, poor thing. It's just not even her birthday party at this point. Hmm. Preston, truth or dare? Dare, of course. I ain't no punk. I'm looking at one, so you are. <clears throat> I dare you to do that in a little dance. Gross. No one wants to see that. No one wants to see that. Please don't. That's all you got? Easy. Oh, we don't need to see none of this. Okay, that's enough. Get dressed, Preston. I'll go next. Okay, so I bet I can spice things up here. Ask Bentley who he... I don't really care. Do, why do we... Why do we care? <laughs> I don't care. Ask Chad about Poppy. Let's ask. I want to put Chad. I'm, Chad, how do you feel about Poppy right now since he was touching our back earlier? Chad, truth or dare? Truth. Do you have real feelings for Poppy? Let's just say she's a cool girl and we're just having fun. Oh, baby, you're so sweet. What the hell is wrong with Poppy? Honey, he just blatantly told everyone they're not serious. Meanwhile, she thinks he's the one. Margot Truth or Day at this point, okay. Chad is a dirt bag. He is disgusting, gross. But he's not even like sugarcoating the experience. He's not even out here lying, like, yeah, baby, like you're the one. Like, no, he's just kind of like, we're just fine. Like, Poppy's in her fantasy world. Like, Poppy. Poppy. Stop. Okay, it's Margot's turn. Dare, but I am not getting. Oh, you're no fun. I have something else in mind. I dare to kiss the most attractive person in this room. Haha, ha, I got her now. I hope my breath doesn't smell. <gasps> what am I? This is by far the hottest in this room. That's right. That's right. We got our girl Marco over here. At this point, it's about to be Margo. She's not wrong. Well, actually, Bentley is such a sweet guy. We have our thing with Bentley. If Bentley wasn't here, Miss Margo would be it. I was expecting to get a kiss, but I'm not complaining. Uh, honey, you need to go. Relax and stop being a perv. It's only a kiss on the cheek. Me next. You'll thank me later. Huh? Bentley, truth or dare? Uh, dare, I guess. What's she gonna pull? I dare you to kiss Amethyst. Oh. Oh my gosh. Don't panic. Stay calm. Stay freaking calm. You are not calm. Oh, you Margo. Hey, angel face. Oh, he just came zooming up on us. Oh my gosh, holy shit, is this really about to happen? I can't breathe. My heart feels like it has stopped beating. Am I dying? Bentley takes a piece of misplaced hair from my forehead and pulls it gently behind my ear. He inhales. Is he upset? He starts to lean forward. This is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Everybody, here we go. I finally get to taste those perfect, soft, delicious lips of his. <laughs> he moves closer and closer. Um, a kiss on the cheek. That's it. A childish, friendly kiss on the cheek. We were we were ready. Our poor girl. She was sitting there getting so hyped. She got a kiss on the cheek. 
have I completely misinterpreted our entire relationship? Although I will say, I think he's just doing that because like everybody's around and he's trying to be like respectful. But I should have never believed that Bentley effing banks with everyone a girl. Like, you know, Amethyst, you are a goddess. I feel lightheaded. I feel embarrassed. I feel so hurt. Amethyst. Oh, hello? Amethyst. Yeah, sorry, I zoned out. Hey, girl, are you okay? I might think. Amethyst, truth or dare? I am so not in the mood to play this anymore. I don't trust the questions Poppy will ask, so I have to choose. Dare. I dare you to take four shots. Oh, I feel so bad because she doesn't drink. I couldn't even do this if I wanted to. I could never take a sip of the foul liquid that turned my parents into monsters. I can't. I mean, I don't want to. Well, you have to. That's the rules. Can you just pick a different dare? Stop being a wuss and just take the shots. I am not being a wuss. I just don't want to, okay? Pick a different dare. No. Everyone else did their dare, so now you have to. Lay off Poppy. She doesn't want to. Let it go. State of the spirit. Oh, Poppy. Oh, you do not want to go there with me, bitch. Uh-uh. We're all a little drunk. It's no big deal. Just take the shots. This doesn't concern you, Preston. You think because you're so sweet and innocent, you get special treatment? Well, not with me. Oh, honey. Take the shots. I don't get any special treatment, Poppy. I just don't want to. What are you afraid of? Becoming your parents? What? You know what I think, Poppy? Go off on this hoe. You are the most confusing person I've ever met. I never understand what I mean to you. Am I your friend or your pet? If you had some decency, you know this isn't how you treat someone else, especially your best friend. You'd start to realize that I'm always here for you, rather than treating me like a doormat all the time. Damn girl, you totally laid it out. Even I have to respect that. Aren't you guys gonna back me if no? Sometimes we feel that way too, Poppy. Yes, Queen Marissa, come through. This is a pretty good lesson for you, huh? Whatever you think I need any of you. Are you okay, Amethyst? It's fine. I'm just gonna head to bed. You're the worst. What is wrong with you, Poppy? Oh, bite me, freak. Amethyst is a great friend to you, and do you see how you treat her? I always knew you were a selfish, spoiled brat, but I didn't realize you were a heartless monster, too. You can't handle anyone else having a spotlight for a second. You should be ashamed of yourself. Ooh. Screw, screw Poppy. I always like went back and forth with her because I was like, well, she gave us the place to live and she's nice sometimes. But screw her. How could Poppy do this to me? She's a piece of garbage. I thought she was my best friend. I thought she honestly cared for me. Well, she doesn't, Amethyst. She's a piece of garbage. I feel so betrayed by her. The fact she's going to sit there and do that, am I just blind? It's stupid. I've just been blind this whole time. I see now that Poppy doesn't have my best interest to heart in Bentley. I was so wrong. Okay, you're wrong about the Bentley situation, though. I thought he may have felt something for me, too. I was so wrong about everything. I'm fine. Just give me a minute. It's me. I need to talk to you. Just leave me alone. I can't do that. My job is to make sure you're safe. Oh, you're going to open the door and let me in, or I'm going to pull this door off its hinges and let myself in. Your choice. Okay, we can't really be mad at Bentley. Bentley's always defended us. Bentley does good things. Yes, he just gave us a kiss on the cheek, but we can't really be that mad about the situation. He just, didn't, like, there's nothing to be mad or upset about. If he didn't want to do that in front of everyone, he didn't have to. He just stands there looking at me with his intense bright eyes. We've never misread him. He really does like us. My heartbeat starts to pick up its pacing, but I remember I have to suppress these feelings now. I can't have feelings for someone who doesn't reciprocate them. Girl, you don't even know. You don't know. There is so much I want to say, so much I need to say, but I can only manage three simple words. I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? For your horrible stepsister outing my past, all her judgmental friends, minus Margot and even Marissa. I'm going to defend them. Margot's a sweetheart and Marissa, we don't know her too well, but you know what? Marissa's always been nice. I'm going to... Victoria, on the other hand... Oh. Or because we've been ferociously flirting the past few weeks and you could only manage a kiss on the cheek. I start to feel myself getting warm, not the type of warm that comes over my face when Bentley makes me blush. This is a different kind of heat, a strong heat that is making me uncomfortable. My chest starts to tighten, my palms are becoming clammy. I feel like an explosion is forming deep inside me. Oh no, I'm gonna erupt. Do I need to throw up? No, no, this is different. This is the vomit. Oh, word vomit. I need to tell Bentley not everything, but I need to let him in just a little. My words come out fast and powerful. I need to get this out of me. My parents are alcoholics. That's why I don't drink. They were bad. It got bad. So I ran away. There, I said it. It's finally out of me. Whew. 
my mind starts to racing, trying to connect the dots. My father told me she had bruises and night tears. Poppy was about to say something along the lines of Amethyst becoming scared of becoming a raging alcoholic. I'm not a stupid man, they must have hurt her. And my body starts to fill with rage. How can anyone hurt this perfect angel that stands before me? I want to go find these porks because the parents of hers and hurt them just like they did her. Oh, he's so sweet, but I can't. That would just make things worse. And she doesn't seem ready to open up about that part of her life yet. I won't rush her. See, this is why Bentley is such a good person. I have to calm myself down. Whew. Calm down, y'all. Again, there is so much I want to say, but I can only manage these. I can only manage those three simple words. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you already said that. Oh, oh my. I mean, I'm so sorry that you had to go through that. You deserve all the love and happiness in the world. I'm glad that you've opened up to me. I want to be here for you. I would never judge you. I don't care about where you come from or what you've been through. It only makes you more beautiful to me. Oh, he said beautiful. And Poppy, I don't know what to do with her. Take her to the garbage can. Not even the recycle bin, trash can. Get her out. Don't listen to anything she says. She's vile. Uh Uh-oh, it's happening again. That strong, uncomfortable heat is coming back. Word vomit. I can't control it. I have to say it. Why didn't you kiss me? Um. Um. I changed my, I don't want to hear him say it. Never mind, it's not a big deal. Did you want me to kiss you? It doesn't matter. Of course it does. Why? It's not like you feel the same. What are you talking about? Are we about to get into this? You think I didn't want to? If you did, then why didn't you? Um, I, uh, uh, I want our first kiss to be special. Wait, what? I didn't want our first kiss to be because of a stupid dare. You mean you thought about our first kiss? Of course I have. Are you kidding me? It's all I think about. You really don't understand how much strength it takes for me to resist you. <laughs> the time we spent together, I can't get you out of my head. Oh. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. This is all very new to me. I didn't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I just wanted to make sure you're all right. What happened back there? That sucked. And I want you to know I've got your back no matter what. Margo is a true friend and we barely met her. I'm fine. I just needed a moment. You know, everyone is so drunk that I don't remember what Poppy said. It's forgotten, so nothing to worry about. I've only just met Margo and she's already been a better friend to me than Poppy has. I guess that's good. We should go back now. Okay, so the the result was still the same. We were just kind of like, thanks. (laughs) Wait, I need to know that you're really okay. (sighs) Are we okay? I pull him into me and bury my face into his bare chest. I don't smell his usual strong, expensive cologne. Instead, I smell something better. His natural scent. Oh my goodness. It's strong and sweet at the same time. Manly and delicate all at once. It's driving me insane. I want more. Why can't I stay like this forever? He puts his hand. Oh, I can hear his heart beat rapidly. He takes a deep breath and releases me. Okay. Thank you, Bentley. I will always be here for you. Always. Once again. Once again. we. This is becoming a bit of a problem. You ain't playing me no more episode. I don't think so. We should go because he's going to end up telling us feelings anyway. It makes no difference. I want everyone to know that real quick, though. It makes no big difference. It really doesn't. The storyline ends up being pretty much the exact same. So it's just... Mm -mm 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 -mm. What the hell's wrong with me? It's okay, Bentley. Why don't I say more? Why don't I do more? Well, first off, it's a bit of a weird moment. Why don't I pull her into my embrace? Because it's... I don't know if it's the right moment. I had my chance and I said I chickened out like a coward. What am I scared of? She's nothing like... Like, I'm such an idiot. She has feelings for me too and I'm screwing it up. It's fine. If I mess this up, I'll never be able to forgive myself. Like, what did you screw up, Bentley? It's literally fine. What are you looking so shook at, Chad? What's everyone looking at? What's going on? Oh my god. Here we go. Who is this? Who the hell invited her? Hush, you're just mad because her outfit totally upstages you. Shut up, Poppy. No one likes you. Is this that Miss Chanel girl? The queen has arrived. Yeah, Amethyst. (laughs) Amethyst did. So we had a wild ride of a chapter. First off, we did the whole truth and dare game. It got very heated. Poppy really tried running her little mouth. You know, Miss Thing ran her mouth. And she made a fool of herself. She's disgusting. 
Goodbye, Poppy. You're gone. You're gone, Smee. I don't care about you no more. Then we found out all these feelings about Bentley, so we know he feels the same way pretty much. And clearly they want to take this to the next level, and then it ended on this Chanel girl who... Don't know who, who she is. Don't know who she thinks she is. Whatever she thinks she is, she's not. Someone lied to her many times. Someone lied to her. Poppy apparently did. Shocking. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. We have two more chapters. I'm excited to see how this ends with Bentley because Bentley is a sweetheart. But thank you so much for watching as always. Of course, go follow the amazing author who created this story. Their Instagram is linked in the description box down below in the shout outs. A special shout out to Sheria E, Nella XO, and... Peach Girl, thank you so much for all your love and support. It means the absolute world to me. I am so sorry if I butcher anybody's names, but thank you so much. And thank you to everyone, of course, for always watching me play my games. It means the absolute world to me. I hope everybody is doing okay right now, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching again. Bye, everyone. I'm so